The latest on week 14 of the NFL season. All times local. Underscore underscore underscore. 7. 10 p.m. Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz passes against the Los Angeles Rams during the first half of an NFL football game Sunday. Deck. 10. 2017. In Los Angeles. AP Photo. Mark J. Terrell. The Philadelphia Eagles say quarterback Carson Wentz has an injured knee and won't return to Sunday's showdown against Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams. Wentz was hit hard as he scrambled into the end zone late in the third quarter on a play that was called back because of holding on tackle Lane Johnson. Four plays later, Wentz threw a three-yard touchdown pass to Alshon Jeffery to give the Eagles a short-lived 31-28 lead. The Rams then went up 35-31 on a one-yard run by Todd Gurley. The Eagles quarterback went to the locker room, and he has been replaced by Nick Foles. AP sports writer Bernie Wilson reporting from Los Angeles. Underscore underscore underscore. 7 p.m. Seahawks all everything linebacker Bobby Wagner has been ruled out against Jacksonville with a hamstring injury. Wagner left the game in the third quarter, went to the locker room for evaluation and treatment and did not return. Pound K. J. Wright also left the game with a concussion and has been ruled out. It was the latest injury for a defense already playing without cornerback Richard Sherman. Safety Cam Chancellor and defensive end Cliff Avril. AP sports writer Mark Long reporting from Jacksonville, Florida. Underscore underscore underscore. 6. 40 p.m. There's been a huge momentum swing in the Eagles-Rams showdown between division leaders. Blake Countess returned a blocked punt 16 yards for a touchdown to give the Rams a 28-24 lead early. In the third quarter, the punt was blocked by Michael Thomas, and the ball bounced right to Countess in stride. It was the Rams' second TD in less than two minutes. Jared Goff capped the opening drive of the second half with a one-yard touchdown pass to Sammy Watkins. The Eagles had taken a 24-14 halftime lead on three touchdown passes by Carson Wentz. They need to win to clinch the NFC East. AP sports writer Bernie Wilson reporting from Los Angeles. Underscore underscore underscore. 6. 30 p.m. New York Jets quarterback Josh McCown has been ruled out against Denver with a left-hand injury. McCown was hurt in the third quarter against Denver when he was hit by Broncos linebacker Shane Ray. McCown walked toward the Jets' sideline holding his left hand before taking a knee. After being checked out, he went to the locker room. Bryce Petty took over for McCown who also was shaken up earlier in the game while scrambling for extra yardage. In other injuries, long snapper Thomas Hennessy, head, and running back Elijah McGuire, ankle, are both out. AP sports writer Pat Graham reporting from Denver. Underscore underscore underscore. 5. 55 p.m. Philip Rivers and the Los Angeles Chargers offense started out on a roll against Washington. The Chargers racked up 354 yards against the Redskins while taking a 23-6 lead. Those 354 yards were the most of first half for the Chargers since at least 1991 and their most in any half since 2010. Rivers passed for 256 yards and two touchdowns while passing Warren Moon for ninth place in NFL history in yards passing. The Chargers didn't punt but were forced to kick three field goals. They also made an 81-yard drive in the final 85 seconds before halftime. But Austin Eckler was tackled at the four on a 33-yard run as time ran out. AP sports writer Greg Basham reporting from Carson, California, underscore underscore underscore, 5, 50 p.m. The Seattle Seahawks were held scoreless in the first half for the first time in more than a year. Jalen Ramsey intercepted one of Russell Wilson's deep passes.
Lair Walsh missed a 38-yard field goal at the end of the half and the Jaguars led Seattle 3-0 at the break. It was the first time the Seahawks were held without points in an opening 30 minutes since playing at Arizona in October 2016. That game ended in a 6-6 tie. AP sports writer Mark Long reporting from Jacksonville, Florida. Underscore underscore underscore. 5. 45 p. M. Larry Fitzgerald of Arizona now stands third on the NFL's all-time receiving list. The Cardinals wide receiver caught a 23-yard pass early in the third quarter against Tennessee to give him 15. 303 yards receiving. That pushed him past Randy Moss who had 15. 292 yards. Fitzgerald used to wash Moss's car for cash and borrowed it for the prom. Only Jerry Rice, 22, 895, and Terry Owens, 15, 934, have more yards receiving in NFL history than Fitzgerald. Underscore underscore underscore. 5. 40 p. M. Tennessee Titans left tackle Taylor Lewin is out against the Arizona Cardinals with a back injury. Lewin went to the locker room with a back injury in the first half. And the tackle who was a Pro Bowl lineman last season was questionable to return. But he came out for the second half without his gear. Backup Dennis Kelly replaced Lewin at left tackle. Underscore underscore underscore. The Associated Press has counted at least 16 NFL players protesting during the National Anthem in Week 14. After five players protested during the early games, the count jumped with the late afternoon games. Chargers left tackle Russell Okun raised his fist as he does every game before kickoff against Washington. In Arizona, Titan wide receiver Richard Matthews stayed off the field during the anthem and then joined his teammates on the sideline once it ended. Titans linebacker Nate Palmer raised a fist and looked to the sky during the anthem. Rams linebacker Robert Quinn held up his right fist for most of the anthem. Punter Johnny Hecker had his arm around Quinn in support. At least seven Seattle Seahawks players sat or knelt for the national anthem in Jacksonville. The group included defensive linemen Michael Bennett, Sheldon Richardson, Frank Clark, Quinton Jefferson, Marcus Smith and Brandon Jackson, and offensive lineman Dwayne Brown. All seven have sat or knelt previously. Underscore underscore underscore. 4. 25 p. M. Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams have jumped on top quickly in the showdown between the first two draft picks of the 2016 NFL Draft. This game between Goff and Carson Wentz's Eagles marks just the eighth time in the Super Bowl era that quarterbacks take a no, one and no. Two overall in the same draft have squared off. Goff was the first pick overall in 2016, followed by Wentz. The no, one pick is 5-2 to two in such matchups. Wentz and the Eagles got the ball first, but Wentz was intercepted on the third play from scrimmage, and the Rams scored three plays later for a 7-0 lead for Goff. The last no, one versus no, two matchup came on Sept. 13, 2015, when the no, two pick in that year's draft. Marcus Mariota, led Tennessee to a 42-14 victory versus Jameis Winston, no, one, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in their NFL debuts. Before that, it was all the way back to 1998, when the top pick that year, Peyton Manning led the Colts to a 17-12 victory against second-pick Ryan Leaf and the San Diego Chargers. Drew Bledsoe, no, 1, 1993, and Rick Meyer, no, 2, faced off three times, Meyer was with a different team each time, and Jim Plunkett, no, 1, 1971, and Archie Manning, no, 2, faced off twice. AP sports writer Bernie Wilson reporting from Los Angeles. Underscore underscore underscore. The Minnesota Vikings have missed their chance to clinch the NFC North with both chances Sunday. Starting with a 31-24 loss to Carolina.
The Vikings still could have clinched with losses or ties by Detroit and Green Bay only to see the Lions beat Tampa Bay 24-21 and the Packers kept Cleveland winless with a 27-21 overtime victory. Philadelphia could have clinched before its game with the Rams. But Dallas beat the Giants 30-10. Buffalo's 13-7 overtime win over Indianapolis means both New England and Pittsburgh will have to win their own games to clinch playoff berths. Kansas City beat Oakland 26-15 to take sole possession of the top of the AFC West to itself. Chicago routed Cincinnati 33-7. And San Francisco beat Houston 26-16. Underscore underscore underscore. 2. 58 p. M. Bills rookie quarterback Nathan Peterman has been shaken up after a run and replaced by third stringer Joe Webb in Buffalo's game against Indianapolis. Peterman took off to his right and dived headfirst as he was being tackled in a cloud of snow by linebacker Antonio Morrison and tackle Jonathan Hankins. Peterman lay on the field for a moment and was slow to get up before going to a medical tent on the sideline. He was then taken to the locker room for further evaluation of a head of injury. The rookie fifth-round pick was starting in place of Tyrod Taylor who is sidelined by a bruised left knee. Third stringer Joe Webb took over. John Wara reporting from Orchard Park, New York. Underscore underscore underscore. 2. 40 p. M. Tom Savage will not return to Houston's game against the San Francisco 49ers because of a concussion. Savage was injured when he was driven to the ground on a hit by Elvis Dumerville with about 9 minutes left in the second quarter. Replays showed Savage looking dazed after his head hit the ground with both of his arms lifted. Upward shaking, he was taken to the medical tent where he stayed for less than three minutes before returning to the bench and going back in for the next series. He threw two incompletions on that drive, and Houston's team doctor approached him after he returned to the sideline after that possession. Savage tried repeatedly to enter the game on the next series but a team official kept grabbing Savage's jersey and finally his arm and pulled him away from the field. He then could be seen arguing with that person and the team's trainer before being escorted to the locker room. He was replaced by T. J. Yates, AP sports writer Christy Reekin reporting from Houston. Underscore underscore underscore. 2. O. 6. P. M. Raiders wide receiver Amari Cooper has left their game against Kansas City after getting his right leg rolled under while blocking downfield late in the second quarter. Cooper had missed the past couple games with a concussion, but he cleared the NFL's protocol earlier this week. He was still questionable with a left ankle sprain, and it was the opposite leg that got caught under a defender as Cooper blocked downfield on. DeAndre Washington's run, Cooper dominated the Chiefs in their meeting earlier this season, catching 11 passes for 210 yards and two touchdowns. AP sports writer Dave Scretta reporting from Kansas City, Missouri, underscore underscore underscore, 1, 28 p.m. Josh Gordon has his first touchdown in nearly four years. Cleveland's troubled wide receiver who recently returned after being suspended for two seasons, caught an 18-yard touchdown pass in the first quarter against Green Bay. It was Gordon's first TD since December 2013. The 26-year-old played his first game since 2014 last week. The winless Browns are hoping Gordon can stay sober and resurrect his Pro Bowl career. He caught a 38-yard pass on Cleveland's first play from scrimmage. AP sports writer Tom Withers reporting from Cleveland. Underscore underscore underscore. For more NFL coverage. HTTP. WWW. Pro 32. App. Oregon HTTP. WWW. Twitter. Com. AP underscore NFL. New York Jets quarterback Josh McCown. 15 is helped after being injured against the Denver Broncos during the second half of an NFL football game. Sunday, Deck, 10, 
2017. In Denver, AP Photo, Joe Mahoney. Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. 11. Runs with the ball against the Tennessee Titans after making a catch during the first half of an NFL football game. Sunday, Deck, 10, 2017. In Glendale, Aries. AP Photo, Rick Scatari. Seattle Seahawks players kneel during the national anthem before an NFL football game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Sunday, Deck, 10, 2017, in Jacksonville, FLA, AP Photo, Phelan M. Obenick, Tennessee Titans linebacker Nate Palmer, 50, raises a fist during the playing of the national anthem as teammate Avery Williamson, 54, stands next to Palmer prior to an NFL football game against the Arizona Cardinals. Sunday, Deck, 10, 2017, in Glendale, Aries, AP Photo, Ralph Fresso, Buffalo Bills Kelvin Benjamin, second from left, makes a catch during the first half of an NFL football game against the Indianapolis Colts. Sunday, Deck, 10, 2017, in Orchard Park, N, Y, AP Photo, Adrian Krause, Houston Texans quarterback Tom Savage, 3, Leaves the game to get checked out during the first half of an NFL football game against the San Francisco 49ers. Sunday, Deck, 10, 2017, in Houston. AP Photo, David J. Phillip, San Francisco 49ers, San Francisco 49ers, Eli Harold, 57, Eric Reed, 35, and Marquise Goodwin, 11. Kneel during the national anthem before an NFL football game against the Houston Texans. Sunday, Deck, 10, 2017, in Houston. AP Photo, David J. Phillip, 